Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up two Shining Legend pin collection boxes. One featuring Pikachu and the other one featuring Mewtwo. I actually bought both of these boxes combined into one package on clearance from Walmart for $23.97. Shining Legends is a special expansion similar to Hidden Fates and there is a possibility at pulling a shiny Pokemon out in the Shining Pokemon card. I actually was going to buy all of the boxes that my local Walmart had in stock but this box really isn't that great of a deal. I think it is only a dollar or two off the original retail price. So I'll get everything opened up here, show the promo cards, and then get to opening the packs. So the two boxes are all opened up. Here are a look at the two Black Star promos, Pikachu, SM76, and then Mewtwo, SM77. And then the six booster packs of Shining Legends. Would like to pull out the Mewtwo GX the most, the secret rare, sort of a combination of the Shining and the Rainbow rare. You are guaranteed a rare hollow in each and every one of these packs. Inside these boxes, you do also get a pin and an online TCG code card. Just the one version of the code card in these packs, which is nice for video purposes. Four and then two is the card trick. First pack of the six starts with Croconaw. Scraggy, Toracat, Plusle, Weasel, Grass Type Energy, Warp Energy, Energy Retrieval, Super Scoop Up, not bad, Reverse Hollow of an Ultra Ball. Very sorry to have seen this rotated out. This would be an uncommon. And the final card would be a Caldeo. And I won't summarize the rare holo cards at the end, just because you are guaranteed one in each and every pack. Next pack here, a shiny Genesect on it. The shining Pokemon are pretty cool in appearance. I definitely prefer Hidden Fates to this set, however. Maybe if there was more shining Pokemon in Shining Legends, Zoroark GX is probably the best card. Scraggy to start this pack. Toracat, Plusle, Weasel, Totodile, Psychic Type Energy, Switch, a very useful item card. Carnivine, Electrode, Reverse Hollow of a Breloom, just a common. And the final card would be another Keldeo. Keldeo GX, on the other hand, is very good. I've seen that card being combined with Quagsire. Shiny Rayquaza pack now. I have opened up all of these pin collection boxes from Shining Legends when they were first released. Voltorb starts this one, Crocona, Scraggy, Toracat, Plusle, Darkness Type Energy, Arbok, Pokemon Breeder, you can pull this as a full art, Lily, there we go, a very good supporter card, Reverse Solo of Larvesta, common, and the final card would be a Reshiram, and this is a rare holo that I used in a deck that I built. I brought it to a league challenge. I actually won that league challenge. I used Turtonator GX and Ho-Oh GX, I believe. Kiawe key in setting up fire type Pokemon quickly. So really not much to summarize from this box. Really these two boxes that were combined into one. Two packs left to go after this one. Voltorb starts this pack. Ekans. Pikachu, Totodile, Bulbasaur, Water-type Energy, Switch, Arbok, Venusaur, a good ability on this card, making it seem like there are more Grass Energy cards in play. Reverse Hall of Stunfisk, final card would be a Verizon. Down to the final two packs now. I guess at the very least, I did pull out the Mewtwo and the Pikachu Hollow. It is always disappointing though, spending any amount of money on Pokemon cards and not getting anything. All it really takes is one pack. This one, second to last pack, starts with Litten, Purloin, Voltorb, 
Golet, Weasel, Metal Type Energy, Scrafty, How, Warp Energy, Reverse Solo. Of that same Warp Energy, both would be uncommon. Final card would be a Zacrom. So rare holo cards in each and every pack. Let's see what happens in this final pack. Otherwise, it was a waste of about $24. Down to the final pack. Four and then two. Hoping for anything other than a rare holo to end it. Final pack starts with Ekans, Breloom, Voltorb, Litten, Purloin, Lightning Type Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Lipard, Feraligator, my second favorite Pokemon of all time, Reverse Solo of an Energy Retrieval, an Uncommon. Final card would be a Hoopa. At least this card is decent. It does prevent EX and GX Pokemon from attacking, but 0 for 6 from these 6 packs, a little bit disappointing. Well, that just means I'll probably stay away from the remaining boxes at my local Walmart. If you see those at your local Walmart, just know it's not that good of a deal. But if you do go and buy some of the boxes, I hope you have much better luck than I did. So that concludes this opening. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.